Hey, what's up everybody? This is JC from the Balance Wings. You already know I'm all about budget tech and this one right here is no different. This is the Hapron projector. Now this is a 1080p projector which supports 4K video. And the box don't look so pleasant because this is how I got it from Amazon. The side right here is ripped. It looked like they had it in the warehouse, they drag it on the floor, and it's not the best looking of presentation. But it's an LED projector with 9500 lumens so this is my first projector so i'm just going to unbox it what it looks like and just take it from there okay where do i begin okay so i just gotta um take it off okay so this is what it looks like right here it's a nice look of box home theater video entertainment right here it shows on um, power voltage where it's from Anything else? No, that's pretty much it. Okay, let me open this and see what it looks like. Okay. And I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. So the more you subscribe and like and show your thanks, it helped me to get more items to review or unbox. Anyway, so anyhow. Comes with a nice little styrofoam to protect, to protect it during shipping. Oh, crap. So many things f fill up the box. Okay, let's start with some obvious things right here. One, it comes with a RCA to a 3.5, put that to the side. Comes with a HDMI and a power cable. I think this is a, oh, this is a simple projection screen, 100 inches. So I think this is it right here. Comes with some little um, sticky pads to keep it up. I don't think I'm going to use all of that. Anyway, so it's covered with styrofoam. Again, I believe it's for protection during shipping. Oh, comes with a remote, simple remote. Looks like a, looks like one of those simple remote you get like on your Roku TV. All right, let's see what else. All right, and the little manual instruction. So this is what it looks like. I believe this is the this is the feet the foot or whatever you want to call this. Hmm. So to prop it up like that. All right. And let's see right here. They got a the hole where you could um screw it onto a tripod, which which I think is a cool little touch. I think this right here is an IR blaster. Lens cap. LED LED projection screen. All right. So like I said. I'm just going to plug up this bad boy, see what it can do. So the back of it right here, you see IR, got two USB ports, a headphone jack, an AV, which I believe is for this right here. I don't see where it have any um, VGA. It doesn't have a VGA. I think these right here are the speakers. No, these are the fans on the side. These are the fans. And this, I believe, is the speaker right here. All right. And just got one HDMI port. Okay, let's see right here. This got the focus and the keys tone right here. Got some functions on top. Let's turn it around. It's function right here. Whatever these are, cause like I said, I, I don't know what the heck it's all of this. But anyhow, let me just um, see if it comes in the battery. At least, if you're going to give a remote, at least give us with a battery at least. Come on. Don't be so cheap. Let's see what we got. And no battery. Okay, you can't get what you want on a budget. <laughs> All right. So let me just do this real quick. Let me just go ahead and um, plug this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Here we go. I'm right here in the main set, main screen of the projector, my budget cheap projector. And so far the color doesn't look that bad. The color is pretty impressive. I turn off the lights in my, in my room. There's still some daylight outside. It's like early in the afternoon. So this is some light. But so far the color is pretty impressive for cheap budget projector, which is just a 1080p at 60 Hertz. But anyhow, you got these features right here. You got movie, music, photos. So if you connect like your phone, your computer, or even like a fire stick, Android stick, whatever it is, you can go into these things and do your thing. You got also something like right here, surprise. 
if you're surprised you can um look at the warranty new items and tests a vip group i'm not sure if this got wi-fi on it but i believe it got bluetooth 5.1 which is pretty cool you can connect to several things your your amazon alexa and your bluetooth device like speakers and whatnot it's got full Bluetooth 5.1, so you're gonna get great connection to your Bluetooth devices, whatever you got. So let's get back into the settings. Let's see what we got. We got you got a picture mode where it comes with um the picture mode, it comes with standard, dynamic, mild, and user. And I think in user you can adjust how you want. You can, you can adjust how you want the brightness, the contrast, the tint, all that good stuff, the zoom, color temperature. Noise reduction, noise reduction look like it comes standard uh, middle. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave everything standard. I ain't gonna change nothing. And uh, let's go back here. Like I said, these are the, some of the settings. I'm gonna put it back to standard. Let's go back out here, see what does this bad boy have to offer. And um, that's basically it so far in terms of setting. Oh, yeah, you got sound. So you got different sound quality, you got movie. And um, it's already preset to the treble and the bass has been already preset. As you can see, the treble is 60, bass is 80. Let me see. Let's go to music and see treble, bass, every preset that's there. It already adjusts the treble and bass. How they already it's already adjusted already. Oh, I press the wrong button. So, so I guess if you want to change it around, you got to put it to user. That's when you cannot do your thing with the treble and the bass. So I'm gonna leave it at um I'll keep going back there. I'm gonna go back to the standard, leave it as it is right down the middle. Leave it right down the middle, and then exit out of there. And then this is the section where you can go into this is the, the OSD language, you can set it to, to English or see let's see, let's see a bunch of languages to what it's got. Let's go back to let's go here. So other languages you got. You got a few languages here. So I'm not gonna go into a bunch of them. It's a whole look like it's a whole lot. Not gonna go into so my standard language is English. You can um, I think it depends on the picture settings. You can go you, you can select the the aspect ratio to four point whatever four whatever it is, and you got sixteen to nine. You got different projection mode. You got desktop front, you got desktop rear. You got ceiling front and ceiling rear, which I think this, which I think is pretty cool. So I don't want to confuse myself. Let's go. Let's go back. Leave it to desktop front. You got Bluetooth, and I'm gonna get into it. You can, you can, in, you can um hit it and select a Bluetooth devices. So let me just get out of here real quick. I got some. I got my Xbox. Let me just see if I could uh, sh shoot it right here. I got my Xbox Series X connected to the projector, and then. I'm just gonna fool around real quick. So let me um go into the HDMI. Unfortunately, it have one HDMI port, but if you have like a of like a splitter or whatever, you could use that as well. So let's go into HDMI. See what's going on. See, I'm sure right there is um 1080 at 60 hertz. So I'm using YouTube TV for my Xbox Series X. As you can see, it looks pretty decent so far. Let me just go ahead for the sake of it, just see what Forza look. I you know Forza's base is mostly a 4K game. So I'm just gonna see what it looks at 1080p. Okay, it doesn't look so bad. And the speaker, the speaker is, um, I think the speaker is pretty good. Let me just turn up the volume. Crank it up all the way to 100. That's not bad. Let me just drive around a little bit. This is not bad. It's not 4K, but the color is not that bad. And like I said, this is just this is just standard. You can always go inside and adjust the color how you want it. And I should say it, yeah, I got this for 89 bucks on Amazon. So this ain't bad. Let's just look at another game, Teenage TMNT, Shredder's Revenge. This game is not too big on on um, FPSs. I mean, 
pixels or whatever you want to call it this game is standard 1080p so let us see what it looks like and you could hear the volume from the from those projector it's pretty loud and there's no lag there's no lag with this thing it's pretty good Ooh. it's pretty colorful So this can play games. Um, if, you, if you got like a PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, X, Xbox Series, it can do it. This is just it's all, it, the highest it does. The highest it does is on 1080p, but for video wise, it supports 4K video. So you've got like videos on your stick or whatnot. I believe you can support it. Right? Thanks for tuning in. I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace out. Love you guys.